Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. You're invited to a wedding and you go and you're greeted and you're celebrating this young man and this young woman that have just made this incredible lifelong commitment to one another in marriage. And you see the beef and you see the vegetables and you see the fruit and you see the cake and you see all this wonderful food and this glorious feast and all these people are there eating and you say, um, no, I'm, I'm fasting today. Nobody fasts at a wedding feast. Now that brings us to this text in Matthew chapter 9. And remember, Jesus has been to uh, Matthew's home. Matthew invited him to his home. And Jesus eats with all these renegades and these sinners and so forth. And they're having a feast. And Matthew must have prepared it because he was so excited that Jesus had asked him to be one of his followers. So they have this marvelous feast. And the Pharisees are there. And they're ridiculing and judging. And Jesus has something to say about that. And then... John the Baptist's disciples come to Jesus. They must have walked in right at the end of this feast, and they said this. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, why do we and the Pharisees fast and your disciples do not fast? So in other words, John's disciples are fasting, and maybe it was not just on the Day of Atonement when the Old Testament people were told they needed to fast, but for the Pharisees and maybe John's disciples as well, it was Monday and Thursday that they were fasting. And so maybe this event happened on a Thursday or a Monday, and they couldn't eat. And so they're looking at Jesus hanging out with these people, these renegades, the disciples, and all these renegade followers of Jesus are there, and they're eating, you know, and John... John's disciples say they shouldn't be eating. And the Pharisees are saying they shouldn't be eating. (laughs) And I love Jesus' answer, verse 15. And Jesus said to them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. What's he talking about? He is the bridegroom. The church followers of Jesus are the bride. And basically, Jesus is saying, I am the Messiah, and I'm here, and people should celebrate my presence. And basically, he's saying, we just celebrated this wonderful meal with with Matthew and all his friends and the disciples. We just had a great time because I am the Messiah, and I am here. The bridegroom is here. The bride is linked to the bridegroom, you should celebrate. And my friends, we can celebrate today. Why? Because Jesus is with us. Jesus is alive. Jesus has defeated death. Jesus has conquered the grave. And as a result of that, he is with us on this Monday after Easter. He is with us in every aspect, every phase of life, forgiving our sins, carrying us through our sorrows, helping us to face whatever difficulty we have with the strength that only he can give and promising that when we die, we're going to have eternal life. We're going to be in heaven with Jesus. So as a result of that, what do we do today? Four things I want to quickly identify. Number one, repent and believe in Jesus, right? I'm sorry for my sins, and Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you're the sinless, stainless Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I believe that you rose from the dead to give eternal life to all those who believe in you. I believe in you, Jesus. Secondly, what do we do? We worship him. We say, Lord Jesus, I want to worship you, not just on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis, dedicating my life to you and to the principles that you give me in your word. So, We repent and we believe, we worship him, we serve him. That's the third thing. We serve him by using the gifts and talents that he has given us to serve people in our family, to serve people in our community, to serve people in the church, to serve wherever the Lord has called us, to use the talents and gifts that God has given us so that we might serve him. And finally, number four, we make him known to others. Jesus didn't just give the Great Commission to his disciples. He gives it to us today as well. Jesus has conquered the grave. There are people around us that need to know that. So when the Holy Spirit opens the door, (laughs) right, we go through that door and we proclaim what Jesus has done. This is why the scriptures say, always be prepared to give a testimony of the hope that lives within you. So we should have our testimony ready. I have a real quick one that I can share with you. God, man, Christ, faith, right? God, man, Christ, faith. God is a holy God, and he 
demands perfection. We are sinners. Number two, man, we are sinners and we can't save ourselves. Number three, God sent his son Jesus to live, die, and rise again so that all who believe in him have eternal life. And finally, number four, faith. All those who repent of their sin and put their faith in Jesus, have their sins forgiven and the promise of eternal life. So my friends, what do we do as a response to what Christ has done? Number one, we repent and believe in him. Number two, we worship him. Number three, we serve him. Number four, we make him known. That's how to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a great day in Jesus. And that is today's Daily Truth. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.